everybody welcome back to daisy and in this tutorial video i want to show you how you can spawn in the scientific briefcase and the scientific briefcase keys on your community server um, a server other than sir cal <laughs> so maybe churnus or Livonia or something else and also we're going to be looking at how you can make sure that the scientific briefcase has got stuff in it and then how you can edit it so that you can put stuff in it as well so if you weren't aware of it already the scientific briefcase um, spawns in on Sakal, but it spawns in as part of um, an event group with a dead scientist body but we don't need to do that on the other maps we can just spawn it in as normal uh, loot so what we need to do is you go to your server and you want to get to the types.xml file again the best thing to do is if you can download it and then edit it on your local pc in something like notepad plus plus that i'm doing here so that we can um, revert if we need to uh, do any changes that, that we might have done wrong once you open up if you do a control f in your types.xml and just search for brief you'll find the scientific briefcase and rather handily the scientific briefcase keys and what we can notice straight away is that they're set to zero so it's not something that's going to spawn in and in fact the scientific briefcase on your Sakal server will be set to zero as well because as I, as I said it spawned in as part of, of an event um, and in, so in the, both these cases it's set to zero so it's not going to spawn in on this server which is a Chernerous server so you gotta think okay fair enough so let, let's spawn them in what we're we going to spawn them in as now this is completely up to you where you want to spawn them but i was thinking maybe if we look at like the first aid um, bag so the first aid bag is shelves and medic isn't it so category containers shelves medic so if we just take the shelves and the medic bit out of that and then we go find the briefcase again there we go and let's add underneath here let's just paste that into there da, 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 da. and then underneath here on the briefcase let's paste that into there let's tidy up a bit so there we go so there you've got the whole argument for the briefcase and the briefcase keys and what we've done is we've given them a usage and we've said well um the this is used in a medical location um and in fact the other thing you could do is you could put um if we do a search control f for container like this there we go we could look for category containers like that copy and then go back to brief because the briefcase is actually a container it contained other stuff doesn't it so we could call it that as well and you could say the um the keys are tools so if you do a quick search for tool you've got a category name is tools now instead of typing these things and i'm copying and pasting them i'm doing that basically so i don't make any spelling mistakes because i'm terrible and like there brief okay and so the keys let's call them a tool so that's good so they both got category names we probably don't want the briefcase to spawn in on a shelf so let's get rid of that so we're just saying they're both medical things now how many briefcases do we want to spawn in let's say we want to keep it super rare so let's keep it as one so the nominal is one so one should spawn in we'll leave the minimum as one we'll leave the lifetime as one restock we don't need to value for that quant min quant max is minus one because it, it's not like a bottle of it's not like a can of fuel it doesn't contain stuff same goes with briefcase keys but let's have a few more of these let's say have three briefcase keys with a minimum of say two um let's double check they're counted in the map remember you always must have counted map as one if you don't they'll just keep spawning and spawning and spawning until they overwhelm your map so let's just double check what we've done so scientific briefcase now there should be one minimum of one it's classed as a container and it should be found in medical locations briefcase keys should be three with a minimum of two it's classed as a tool and it should be found on shelves in medic locations okay so we're fairly happy with that so let's just save that for a bit now the next thing is the spawnable type so if we go back to our server 
Um, and this this is uh, a local server, but the layout will be similar on your remote server if you're doing stuff on the web. If we go into the uh, CFG spawnable types folder, so we open that up, and then we do a search for brief again. We should find there's nothing here on our Chernra server. Now the CFG spawnable types that XML uh, XML file, what that does is it tells the game when you spawn something in it should spawn in with this stuff let me see if i can find an example for you um here we go so for example when the hip back pack medical spawns in there's a 0.6 or a 60 percent chance that it will spawn in with some bandage dressings inside and a 0.6 or 60 percent chance that it will spawn in with a vitamin bottle inside so this is the file that if something is going to have something inside this is the file that tells the server what that something should be. So what we can then do is if we have a copy of the Sakal server uh, files, we can op open up the Sakal server files, CFG spawnable types, and then we do a search for, you've got it, brief, and there it is. So there's the, there's the CFG spawnable types entry from type to type for the scientific brief case. So we can just copy that, go back to our spawnable types, make some space at the top, Control V, file it, um, paste it in, and there we have an entry for the CFG spawnable types on our Chernero server, so we can save that. If you're thinking, that's all very well and good, Rob, but where do I get these files from if I haven't got them already? Well, in the link below this, um, in the description below this video, you'll find a link to the Bohemia Active Official Daisy Central Economy Repository, and this has all of the mission files here for uh, Enoch, which is Livonia, You've got Chernus and you've got Sakal and you've got the Christmas stuff and you've got the Halloween stuff. And all you do is click on code, click on download zip. That will then download to your local desktop or your laptop, extract it, and then you'll have access to all the files, which is very, very cool indeed. So we've saved that. So now we've got a types.xml that's got the scientific briefcase in and the briefcase keys in. We've got the CFG spawnable types that's got the stuff. Now at this point, with the CFG spawnable types, the CFG spawnable types, excuse me, this is where you could change what's in it. So as standard, it comes with a couple of filtering bottles, the ice axe, tetracycline and antibiotics, gelatin tablets, GPS receiver, glow plug, and a battery nine volt. And you could change that. Now obviously you don't want to put too much in there so it wouldn't fit. But maybe you would take out the glow plug, because they spawn normally in China or Slovenia, didn't they? And maybe put I don't know, uh, another battery in. Maybe you would take the Chelating tablets out because they're really for um, uh, fixing um, heavy metal poisoning, which is exclusive to Sakal so far anyway. And maybe you would put in uh, the pure water purification tablets. Or actually, no, you're more likely to put in the antibiotics, wouldn't you? So you could put in tetracycline. Um, and have that into there. So go again, play around with that, but not too much because only so much can fit in. So we've saved that, we've saved that. And so what we want to do now, as a matter of um, good practice, you want to go to xmlvalidation.com. And again, I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. And this is going to test our files to make sure that they validate. So we haven't made any spelling mistakes or put something in the wrong place. So we choose file. Um, so can't, where were we? Common. Daisy server, it was my channel of MP missions, Daisy offline.channel is plus, plus, so the first one we messed around with, we messed around with was CFG spawnable types, so let's just validate that, no errors are found, excellent, go back to this one, choose the next file, the other one was the types.xml, so let's go into the folder, select types, open, validate, I should say actually that this check won't pick up spelling mistakes. So if I'd spot spelled scientific briefcase one wrong, say I'd, I'd spelled it B R E I F C A S E, but everything else was the same, that check wouldn't pick that up. But what it would pick up are things like if I'd missed off like a um, uh, a closing bracket, something like that. Okay, so now now we're good to go with that. Normally you would then upload these files to your server, and you would restart your server and you get them to start. But we're going to do something slightly different because this is a local server we can basically fire it up now but what i'm going to do a good another good practice you can do when you're using a local server to test things to test whether things are working before you do anything delete the storage underscore one folder and that blanks the server so what we can now do is if we shut all this down or we'll minimize it 
and then we fire up Daisy. There we go. While that's doing that, let me just go back to my server and let us fire it up. So we want to start it up Chernerus um, with Vanilla Plus Plus on it as well. So now we can go to servers, LAN servers. Refresh that. This should pop up in just a second. No LAN I want, excuse me. There we go. One else local scale speeder server on Chernerus. We're going to join that. Set up DLC and mods. And this is going to take a couple of seconds to load in. This is where installing a local server to do practice things like this before you upload things to your remote server is really important. In fact, what I'll do is in the description below this video, I'll put another link. And I'll put, I'll put it in. I'll put a link to my how to install a local server on your PC. Um, and I'd recommend this for everybody. So even if you're on console, if you've got a PC that can run a server, install it because the ability to be able to test um, mods and XML mods and JSON mods and builds and anything like that locally is much is a much faster way of doing it than doing it remote you know uploading it to your nitrado server or whatever other server you're using via ftp or doing it manually and then logging in and then running around and trying to find the thing it's just, it's just much quicker doing it on your local pc um, it doesn't um, simulate everything uh, specifically it doesn't simulate kind of the lagging connection that you can have and especially with some mods, if you really want to test them out, that's one of the things you're looking for. But for all, all intents and purposes, this is uh, this is very good. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to press O and toggle God. And then we're going to bring up V++ Admin. Go to the XML editor. And we're just going to search for brief. So there's the scientific briefcase. Get item stats. So there's one. Where is it? Where is it? Are you going to show me where it is? I know you said there is one, but where is it? Am I being blind? Oh, it's... I thought that was me then, it's not, is it? There we go, so it's saying it's here by the hospital. So let's zoom over here and uh, see. So it's actually in, there it is. And then so let's take it to our hands, let's pick it up because it's locked, we can't, we can't unlock it. But if we go back to V++ and then we look for the keys, there's three of them. Okay, so there's some keys there. So let's spawn over here. Well, not spawn, let's move over here. And with a bit of luck, let's close this door so zombies don't come behind us. Somewhere in here, there will be some keys. Uh, da -da -da -da. Blood test kit. Aha, there they are. So, because I've got the briefcase in my hand already and the keys are there, I can combine them so I can just unlock. Dumpty, 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 dum. All right, so it's now unlocked. So if we look, there we go. So it's got all the stuff in it. Now you notice things are damaged and badly damaged. That's because this is a vanilla server. And so you, things that spawn in will have a range of damage. <coughs> and in vanilla servers at the moment in Daisy, things keep spawning quite damaged. If you wanted to change that, what you need to do is you need to have an entry in the CFG spawnable types and change the damage so that something isn't damaged. So, for example, with the scientific brew cave, the damage is set to zero and zero so that it spawns in in uh, absolutely uh, pristine condition. And you can do that with any item. You can just add an entry to CFG spawnable types with the damage um, and then uh, set to set to that and then it will, it will uh, spawn in pristine but that's the subject for 
another video. So hopefully this video has been useful. Hopefully now you're like, right, I know how to spawn in the briefcase. I know how to spawn in the keys. I've got some wonderful ideas about nesting things. Remember, you could do things like you could nest a punch card inside a briefcase. And then the keys could be somewhere else. The possibilities are endless. But anyway, that's enough from me. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you all again soon.